hi amazing friends let's solve for the value of x welcome back to my channel okay x multiplied by x we give us x squared so we have x squared divided by 7 multiplied by 7 is 7 squared is equal to similarly let me write this to well okay so that is squared is equal to 7 multiplied by 7 is 7 squared and x multiplied by x is x squared all right now let's cross multiply cross multiply so if we do that we have x squared multiplied by x squared so we have x squared multiplied by x squared is equal to 7 squared multiplied by 7 squared. Now, remember that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So we can write this as x to the power of 2 plus 2 is equal to 7 to the power of 2 plus 2. So we have x to the power of 4 is equal to 7 to the power of 4. All right. Now, let's bring this to this side. Let's transfer this to this side. If we do that, we have x to the power of 4 minus 7 to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Then... Note that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So it means that we can actually express this power as product of its factors. Therefore, we can write this as x to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2, okay? Minus 7 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now, recall the algebra identity that states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b or a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Please click the subscription button, turn on the notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this amazing channel and this amazing face as well, alright? Give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video. Tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by the grace of God. Alright, let us continue. So, relating this to what we have here, our A is equal to x squared. Our B is equal to 7 squared. So that means we can express this as x squared plus 7 squared multiplied by x squared minus 7 squared is equal to 0. Now remember that when you say that a multiplied by b is equal to 0, then either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. Therefore, we can solve this as x squared minus 7 squared is equal to 0 or x squared plus 7 squared is equal to 0. All right. Now, let's solve this. If we say that x squared minus 7 squared is equal to 0, remember that this is another difference of 2 squares, right? So we can write it as x minus 7 multiplied by x plus 7 is equal to 0. So from here, x minus 7 is equal to 0 or x plus 7 is equal to zero. So this implies that from the first one we did, so this implies that x is equal to seven and this implies that x is equal to minus seven. So we have the first and the second value of our x. 
Now, let us solve for the third and fourth value of our, of our x using x squared plus 7 squared. I hope you are enjoying this video. If yes, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up to show that you're actually enjoying the video and to tell the algorithm that the video is amazing. All right, thank you very much. Now, remember that we have x squared plus 7 squared is equal to 0. So for this, it's going to be a plus bi multiplied by a minus bi is equal to 0. So our a is equal to x, our b is equal to 7. Now let us write this in this form. If we do that, we have x plus 7i multiplied by x minus 7i is equal to 0. So this implies that x plus 7i is equal to 0 or x minus 7i is equal to 0. All right, so from here, we have that x is equal to minus 7i. This is the third value of our x. Or we have that x is equal to 7i. Now, let us prove that the answer we got is correct. According to the question, let us write out the values of x. So we have x1 is 7, x2 is minus 7, x3 is 7i. The fourth value of x is minus 7i. Now let us prove that the answer we got is correct. So when x is equal to 7, we have that 7 divided by 7 multiplied by 7 divided by 7 is equal to 7 over 7 multiplied by 7 over 7. Now this will divide itself 1, divide itself 1. So we have 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to, similarly we have this divide itself 1, this divide itself 1. We also have 1 multiplied by 1. So we have 1 is equal to 1. So that shows that x equals 7 is a solution. Now when x is equal to minus 7, we are going to have minus 7 divided by 7 multiplied by minus 7 divided by 7 is equal to 7 over minus 7 multiplied by 7 over minus 7. Now, when this is divided by this, we have minus 1 multiplied by this divided by this, we have minus 1 is equal to this divided by this, we have minus 1. This divided by this, we have minus 1. Now, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. Minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. So you can see that the left hand side is also equal to the right hand side. Now let us go to the other values of our x. When x is 7i, when x is 7i, so we have 7i divided by 7 multiplied by 7i divided by 7 is equal to 7 over 7i multiplied by 7 over 7i. Seven All right, so 7, we divide itself, we are left with i. The same thing happened here, we are left with i. Is equal to, this we divide this, we have 1 over i, multiplied by this, we divide this, we have 1 over i. Now, i multiplied by i is minus 1, is equal to 1 over, i multiplied by i is minus 1 as well. So you can see that from here we have minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So this proves that the answer we got is correct. All right.
Now, the last one. When x is minus 7i. So, we have minus 7i divided by 7 multiplied by minus 7i divided by 7 is equal to 7 over minus 7i multiplied by 7 over minus 7i. So this, we divide this, we have minus i multiplied by, we have another minus i. Is equal to this, we divide this, we have 1 over minus i multiplied by this, we divide this, we have 1 over minus i. Now, minus i times minus i is same thing as i squared, right? Is equal to 1 over i squared. Now, i squared is equal to minus 1, all right? And that means that minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So this also proves that the answer we got is correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.